Human beings are natural organizers. We group things by their similarities and differences. For most things, there's no right or wrong way to organize them. But evolutionary relationships are different. To show how living things are related, scientists organize them into branching tree diagrams. Since living things share so many fundamental characteristics, the underlying assumption is that they all descended from a common ancestor. And the branches are a best guess at how the living things at the tips are related through reproductive lineages. To show the general idea of how tree diagrams work, let's organize this group of imaginary creatures. One way to organize them is to arrange them in a line from simple to complex, and then connect them with lines or branches. The lower branches connect to the simpler creatures, and the higher branches to the more complex ones. This diagram is a best guess at how these creatures may be related. Now let's look at what the diagram is telling us. The base represents a hypothetical common ancestor and the organisms at the tips represent living descendants. The branches represent reproductive lineages and how they split over time. Starting at the bottom, or farther back in time, we can see that there was just one reproductive lineage. Moving forward in time, we see what happened over many generations. Here, we reach our first branch point, where one lineage split into two. The branches are defined by differences in the traits of the descendants. The organism connected to the left branch is the simplest. All of the ones connected to the right branch have an additional body segment. This trait evolved in this lineage after the branch point. Moving forward in time, we reach another branch point. The creatures that connect to the branch on the right have a longer abdomen. This pattern continues. The next trait to come along is wings, followed by antennae. Looking at the branching pattern, we can see the order in which various traits arose. Remember that the branches represent lineages of ancestors. The branch points, or nodes, represent common ancestors. Or more specifically, the most recent ancestor that is common to all the branches beyond it. So this common ancestor is shared by all of the creatures on the tree, and this common ancestor is shared only by the ones with wings. Connections to common ancestors can tell you which creatures are more closely related. These two creatures share an ancestor that lived more recently than the ancestor they share with this creature. Another way to look at relatedness is to look at the number of traits that the creatures have in common. These two have more traits in common than these two. One thing that's really important to know about trees is that the order of organisms across the top doesn't tell you anything. The key information is in the branch points. If we rotate the branches around a node, the tree still shows the same relationships. All of these trees, because the nodes are in the same relative order, are equivalent. Another thing to call out is that we made an assumption when we drew our tree. We assumed that the lineages evolved from simple to complex. But we could have just as easily drawn our tree like this, with each branch point representing the loss of a trait. How do we know which one is more likely? Well, fossils could give us more information. Say we found a whole series of fossils in layers of rock. And the oldest one, the one at the bottom, was the simplest. That evidence would suggest that the first way we drew the tree was correct. Because tree diagrams are hypotheses, a best guess at evolutionary relationships based on available evidence, they may be redrawn when new evidence comes to light. Scientists use characteristics from anatomy and fossils to organize real organisms too. 
They also use other lines of evidence, including how organisms develop as embryos and DNA and amino acid sequences. Tree diagrams can be drawn in many different ways, but no matter how they're drawn, they follow the same rules of organization. In general, organisms that have more characteristics in common share a more recent common ancestor.